Hello everybody, welcome back to Foxes Abroad. And this evening here, we're working on John's car again. So, you see it on the dyno, and he's been driving it around for a little bit since he's got it registered. So uh, what we got going on is when we were on the dyno, it was uh, all well and good, up to 7,000 RPMs. You know, this is a, uh, just to fill you guys back in, this is a uh, 347. Stroker combo with AFR 185 heads, custom uh, FTI hydraulic roller cam, Terminator X, 60-pound uh, LU-60s injectors, you know, big throttle body, big intake, a lot of good, a lot of good parts. And ever since he got a dyno, it ran good to the dyno, but on the street and at the track, he was breaking up and misfiring at higher RPMs, like five and a half thousand. Yeah, but close, a little closer to six thousand. Oh no, starts breaking up. So, uh, it's not fuel related because we did a data log and we checked the fuel pressure and we messed with that and it, it was not anything to do with fuel, so we think it's ignition. I think it's just a, the stock TFI ignition is uh, just at its limit or it's a little older or something's issue with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little upgrade. So what we got is we got the same thing that I did on my car when I was having a little bit of issues with it. We put a, we're going to put an MSD dual sync distributor on it, and just with a plain old MSD, uh, just 6A box. So uh, once you have the steel gear on it, it should drop right in. It's got the plug pre-terminated in good length, plug right into the Terminator X uh, computer wiring harness. All we're going to have to do is do some basic setup. Change some settings in the computer, and within uh, an hour or two, this thing should be get, should be running again. Vroom vroom. So, we have a little metal plate. We're going to mount the MSD box to it, and we're going to mount this underneath. Underneath, right here, is a nice open spot. So, we're all going to be pretty nicely self-contained right here, and it's going to go perfect. So, uh, yeah. Touch wood. All we got is the the coils way over here. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll figure out that. <laughs> we may run it across the front here for the wire. We might edit that coil. part out, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, uh, let's get building on that bracket. Yep. Alright guys, so what I did down here for where we're going to mount the ignition box is we got this uh, fancy piece of aluminum that's already painted black. Down the edge we put a piece of rubber uh, rubber tubing and what it's going to do is it's going to sit right on this seam weld. In order to mount it, we drilled and we put in two inserts, two threaded inserts. They kind of use this like a it's almost like a pop rivet gun, but it's got these threaded inserts in it. And I got this thing from Harbor Freight years ago. So it just comes with an assortment, and as you, uh, you squeeze it, it flares this nut out. So it bites in to the metal and it won't spin. So that's going to be a, a perfect way to mount this plate. So we're going to, this plate's going to go in here. Sit right like so. This is going to be a perfect place to mount the MSD box. So, what we're still waiting on is the little shock absorbers. They're going to stand us off about an inch. So, once that's in place, that's going to be a perfect, nice installation for what we got going on. into the Holly software to reconfigure it for this uh, dual sync distributor. So now I believe we go to 
Uh, ignition parameters. There we go. Right. So now it says four TFI eight cylinder. So click on the down arrow. Because we're changing that. And we should see Holly dual sync. It's an MSD dual sync, but it's the same same. Uh -huh. Already puts the proper inductive delay dwell time. Uh, and that is it, I think. Uh, All right, and one thing before you try to start it is after you save these parameters, you have to sync it. And what it's going to tell you is a system error is going to have to sync. And it's going to tell you to shut the key off and wait a couple seconds and turn it back on. And then the computer is going to suck in this new setting for the dual sync. And the next time you try to start it, it should work. Because if you don't do that, you can crank it and crank it and crank it, and it's not going to start because nothing changed. I still think it's got a TFI module. This style's distributor in there. So, key on. All right, got power. And fuel. Well, we got lights on the distributor. Yep. So, we're going to set up the dual sink right now. I got all the wiring set up. For the moment, we don't use the gray wire on the MSD. Red wire goes to switch 12 volts. White wire. In your Terminator X harness, there's a little white wire popping out that you probably didn't use if you used your, uh, your TFI, TFI distributor. Yeah. So we had to find that wire and tap into it for the white wire going to the MSD box. And I have it teed off that way, going to the connector for the tachometer for the dashboard. So we've got to make sure that works as well. And then the 12 volts is goes over to the same harness. That was the original 12 volt switch wire that went to the coil. So still kind of a factory use for the same power wire. It's still an ignition circuit. It's just turning on the MSD box. So okay. according to the Holly instructions, if you set the crank position to 50 degrees. We have a nice ATI balancer here. So let me get my finger out of the way. <laughs> so we're set right at 50 degrees on the compression stroke. The timing pointer is at the back, aiming where the number one plug would be. So it says counterclockwise until the crank light goes out. Then you rotate it back clockwise until it just comes on. All right, like and now that. lock it down. And then we lock it down. We leave the cap off so you can see the lights just to make sure they don't go off. Still on? Yep. All right. And now we'll lock it down. Okay. All right, we're gonna install the cap. Yep, the cap back I'm on. I'm gonna do this one fluid non-cut scene. Okay. Just to know it's legit. Yep, but we're not faking anything here. <laughs> And it is, in fact, just as MSD says. So, it just sucks these nice wires. A little too big. A little big. too big for this tinier cap, but but so uh, we got. We'll deal with it. We may may change that up come race season, but for now, I don't know really what we can do about that. I don't either. <laughs> I mean, it's a small rotor. But I mean, the, all of them are going to be pretty big, yeah. so. Okay, that's snug, and that's snug. All right, All right um, so that's on. Um, do you want to show the laptop, or do you want to? Uh, I'll, I'll be out here. Okay. Make sure we're all set. Everything's cleared out of the way. Do I need to uh, reset everything, though? Uh, I just cycle the key. Yep. Is all I would do. Okay, key so, is LED over here. Okay, it's off. Back on. Back on. All right. And clear.
digging the TPS is showing zero, so that's good. Yeah. So. I'm hanging right right there. Give it a little rev. Any difference from before? I mean, it's cold right now, so it's kind yeah. of hard to tell. But, um, so until we get down the road, and start take it for a drive. Yep. You really won't know. It's uh, it, I mean, it's still idling high because it's cold. So yeah, I mean, we'll it's, see what happens when it warms up. It's not too rich smelling. It's uh, rich enough for me. Yeah. So hanging in here, we got to smooth this table a bit more. Just doing some learning, but uh. Lights on. But yeah, uh Yeah. As advertised. So kind of the same way with my car. It's just, it's pretty easy swap to do. It's just a little pricey for the distributor and the ignition module. But if you already got the Terminator X and you're upgrading out of your TFI, yeah, it's pretty darn easy. Especially if you have a misfire and you're trying to figure that out. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> hopefully the next day or two, John will hit the road with this thing a little bit and uh, get some, uh, get a mile or two on it and let me know how it goes. So uh, yeah, thanks for sticking with us. This and uh, if you got any questions, leave a comment and uh, we'll get back with you for sure and talk to you soon.